I'm afraid you'll have to come with me, sir. Just like mommy said! You bark at me! Hey, camera boy! <laughs> Robert's had that thing on for eight consecutive years. What makes you think he's gonna take it off yeah, now? Oh, but no one ever said it was successful. Dr. Ocula? Ooh, scary stuff. Dracula. Dr. Ocula. Shut your pile! All those modern bodies, honey. Steve Nakoda, who are you? He makes the wrong move in that metal shop. I'll knock him into tomorrow. Hey, welcome to the Joel Weinkoop Show. It's casual Friday here. Wearing the... Sporting the Give the Park to Wine Coop, he can play anyone t-shirt. Hey, it's Joel Wine Coop here. You may recognize me from some of my movies. Truth or Dare, Killing Spree, Wicked Game, Screaming for Sanity, Rot, Dirty Cop, No Donut, Lost Faith, Creep, and the upcoming Herschel Gordon Lewis movie, Grim Fairy Tale. Now you can own a piece of Wine Coop. That's right. Get your own Give the Park to Wine Coop t-shirt for only $10. You people aren't even listening to me, are you? Krista? Now that I got your attention, here's how to order. Last time on the Joel Weinkoop show, I had an uh oh shirt on. And it was Casual Thursday, and I wanted to promote that. Herschel Gordon Lewis's Grim Fairy Tales, which is kind of in a thing with uh, name changing. It might be called the uh oh show. Uh, was I supposed to say that? Andy, is that okay? I don't know. Sorry. I think it's okay. I think it's common knowledge. I think that's what it was written for to begin with. I don't know. But anyway, we can't not move on to my first guest until I do Wine Coop's rant. And that annoying thing my producer puts in. There it is. Do you see it? It's going all over the place. Stop. Here it is. <laughs> my producer better put something in my hand. I'm going to go boom. Here. Wine Coop's rant. Why do we always come back to traffic situations? What is it with me and traffic? But don't be racing along at 50 miles an hour. Slam on your brakes. Make everybody else crash into you so you can let George out. Go ahead, George. And he pulls into the floor of traffic. And then, bam! I do a lot of punching in this show. Anyway, we'll be right back with my first guest here on the Joel Weinkoop Show. Ah, uh, hoa, 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 pilgrim. I heard it's your special day. I'm uh, gonna sing you a song right now. You mind holding my horse there, Spock? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday to you, pilgrim. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And uh, many more. I'll see you down at the ranch. Okay, our first guest is here. And yes, and this is Heather St. Noel, my first guest. And Heather, welcome to the Joel Weinkoop Show. Woo! Hi. We have a very enthusiastic crowd. <laughs> Wave, they're yours. Now, Heather, how long have you been, I guess, started out, I, I've said before in the, a lot of the shows, I know a lot of people that I've worked with that are on as guests. Always start out by asking them how long they've been in the business, where we met, da da da, da 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 da. da. How long have you been in the business, acting and? Mm, I've been back into it about two, three years now. Okay, you say back into it. When did you start? Um, probably about eight years ago. About eight years ago, wow. I started and took a little, you know, breather time away from everything and got full fledged, devoted myself to it more. Cool. Just like kind of like you did, I guess. Cool. Cool. Time ago. Now that's probably 2001. Mm -hmm. Look, I can subtract. You can. <laughs> I took you long enough. I can subtract. <laughs> so about 2001. So what's some of the stuff you've done in the past? Um, in the past, I've done a film called Trap House. Trap uh, House, okay. Mm -hmm. I recently did a short um, that was done in Sarasota. Mm -hmm. And it's called Billy's Day Off. And you can find cool. that on YouTube. And we also did Stop Dead Together. We did it when you're getting ahead of yourself. Oh. We gotta slow down. Oh. Okay. Now you Pump brought a clip. You brought a clip from Billy's Day Off. That's correct. You wanna show that? I would love to show that. No, you can't show that. Did you ever see vacation? Remember when Chevy Chase said, son, it's got an elevator, goes all the way to the top. Wow, Dad, can we go up? No. no. Woo! We'll show the clip. Okay. That we're we man, nice. we're we're getting into this fast, aren't we, audience? There's two monitors there, you can check it out, you can see it here. Uh -huh. We're gonna watch Heather in a clip from 
Billy's day off. Woo! Okay, come on. Your bus is outside. Pause your game. Oh my God, you're not even dressed yet. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Oh, okay. That's fine. Where did you get this? I don't know. It's great. Now let's go. Okay, Mr. Smarty Pants. What if this stuff is toxic? It's not. I read the bag. Were there directions? A telephone number? Something? Yeah. Well, what did it say? Billy really missed his bus again. Yes, yes. I'm just going to be a little late. Stop screaming. Yes, I will be there to the meeting. By the way, do you know what dissolves super glue? No reason. I, I I've got to go. Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. I had a lot of fun doing that. It's dramatic. <laughs> oh, I mean, really, playing the mom and everything, and it can't be dramatic. It had some funny points to it too, you yeah. know. And Austin did a fabulous job. That's a young director. The boy yes, that's, our... the, that's the kid. Yeah. Great. Yeah, he didn't want to go to school. Oh, really? <laughs> Played video games He's, all day long. Yeah, he was trying to get out of it. He was. He, could. he was. What? My kids do that all the time, and they don't... My kids do that all the time, and they don't even have a script. <laughs> they don't want to go to school. No, it's you know natural. what? That's most kids. It's natural. They just want to play video games. <laughs> yeah! Now, what else? Billy's Day Off, and then you've done some other stuff. Now, can I, can I get to the stop dead? No, not stop dead yet. we got a good ten minutes, girl. <laughs> Before we even t before we even get close to Mr. Jason LaCory. Before we even get close to Jason LaCory. Yeah. Um, well, I'm working on some projects now. Good. Uh, nope, that's too far in the future. Oh. I tell you what, we'll skip to Jason LaCory. Okay, that works. Hey, Heather, <laughs> did you ever work for Jason LaCory? I did. Wow, awesome. Yes. What was that about? It's complex. Complex. Yeah, I don't know if we're allowed to, like, release the Are we allowed to, like... We can, we can, uh, I've already, there's some art, like Cult Goddess, Ma Cult Goddess Magazine, mm -hmm. you can go see the interview and the story on uh, Day with the Wine Coop on the set of Stop Dead with Debbie Rashawn, uh, Cult Goddess Magazine, punch that up, read all about it, so he's got that out there, so I think it's okay we can talk say. about it, yeah, we okay. won't give the ending away, of course, but no. we, can, we can talk a little bit about it, and then I want to talk about the day we got the shoot together. Because I think that was pretty fun. That was hilarious. Yeah. I think everybody's going to enjoy that. Um, basically, they witnessed something. Um, mm -hmm. A couple. They're traveling around in an RV together. Friends. Mm -hmm. There's some interworkings amongst the friends, too, I think. Mm -hmm. They've got their own little things going on. Mm -hmm. And um, it's an interesting film. An interesting film. I always say, and Jason about to kill me every time I say this, it's a little race with the devil. <laughs> I love that. I should be doing a review on Race of the Devil with Peter Fonda and Warren Oates. And who is Hot Lips Huna Hulahan? Oh, oh, oh. From MASH? Loretta Swift? Yes. Yeah, from MASH. And the other chick. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't remember. I, other Wait, chick, I'm so sorry. You were great in it, though. Huh? Call the source. Call the, call the source. Is that that commercial on TV where you just call two and one or something? And you go, what was what was the guy in the Barney suit? And they tell you. Like KGB or something like that. What is it that they're called? Have you seen them? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was yeah, that yeah. they, they call KGB. Is it KGB or something like that? Something, something like, like that. that. KGB or something. You call them on the phone and they tell you things. Yeah. Nobody knows. Yeah. Have you haven't seen these. It's KGB. It's KGB. It's is it KGB? It's KGB. Yeah. It's KGB. Okay. It's KGB. Who would have thought? That's KGB. KGB. Now that scene. What, was that funny? Because there was it was um, <laughs> Debbie or Sean myself sitting on this side of the booth, and we had Kevin mm -hmm. and Karen, Karen White, White. Mm -hmm. on the other side, which both very very cool actors, Kevin and Karen. They are hilarious. Funny, and yeah. Kevin is just off the chain. <laughs> but the whole the whole thing them. kept coming down to um, every time we'd get out of the RV, they'd want to then they'd want to use the bathroom, and the whole right. catch through the whole movie was there's a bathroom in the RV. Right. Which, now was that, you were kind of watching our whole scene. I was. And it was hysterical. <laughs> it was 
just like, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, I mean, it was, and then you came up as a waitress. That's correct. Our mm -hmm. audience is so rowdy today. Yeah, but you, you came up, you were the waitress. I was. I and, was. You, and you actually waited on us. I did. And every time that I would come up to do something, you know, it could be your place, it could be your food, whatever, give the bill, just inappropriate. <laughs> Things that people should not say or be overheard by somebody. I'm like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. I think that was one of the And it wasn't me, it was mostly, mostly. Well, I think the Debbie and I get into an argument. Yeah. But, and actually, I think Kevin and Karen's characters, they start to leave early. And Debbie and I are arguing towards right. it. Yeah, that's right. Now that yeah, you yeah, mention yeah. that, she says something which we're not going to repeat here. See the movie, Stop Dead. But she <laughs> says something that's. Huh? <laughs> yeah, and then see 17. She says it kind of loud, and you overhear it, and you're, I think you're like, you guys are sick or something. It was the F bomb. Oh. Definitely. We don't want to do that here. Yeah. Yeah. In the restaurant and everything. But yeah, the. Uh, um, De did Debbie. Debbie's saying to my character, she's saying, oh, yeah, what the F, Bob. And I think Debbie and I got into a pushing match because she was just, <laughs> Debbie Rashawn, you were just crazy that day. You pushed me against the booth. And then I was like, what are you doing? Wham! And she kept she's pushing like me, pushing me, and she's like shaking, shaking me. She wouldn't stop. But it was great to work with. Yeah. That was really nice. She was a blast. I enjoyed that. Yeah, she's like so serious too. You yeah. Know? And then she's like pushing you in the corner. That's what was really. Funny. Yeah, and she kept doing it. She kept slamming me. Bam, 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 smashing me into the. Bent up aggression. In the corner of the booth. How long were we there? Because we were there. Well, I think we got all the the lines down were really good. We got um, the acting part of it all down and everything. But it was just I think there was a lot of there was shots of you coming up. There was shots at the booth. It was just such a tight. You you got to understand it was a booth. <laughs> Yeah, so it was a really tight shot. You yeah, know, it was like it was small. It was smaller than this area. Like out, right out there, there in the more of the restaurant, they get the two people can basically sit there, two across, and it was yeah, crap. Right, and I, you're only using one camera, right? Um, or was it two? I think he had two. I think he had like a stationary. That's right. And then I think I well, I know at one point he did some handheld stuff. He did some cool. Uh, so he had to like come back stuff. behind here. And yeah. Then he had to, like shoot this. All way, your reverse so angles like, and everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's like over and over and over again. That's what people don't understand. I know. About film. That, and that, that's one. That's another thing I tell people when they go, oh, you made a movie so what? I can do cam. Oh, really? But then let's see you. Let's see you make your movie. If it's so easy. Yeah. So easy. It takes about 10 minutes to shoot Terminator 2. I can do that with my Fisher Price camera and it'd be just as good. Oh, really? How long were we there? Mm, I have to say probably about three hours. Oh, is that all? Is that all? Look at you. I was going to say three days. <laughs> now, was it about three hours, I think, to shoot I think that? It was, I think it was about three hours. Now, was there once the waitress, because you came in a couple times, then was it all the way through, we were done and we left, or was there more after that? I can't, I don't remember. No, I think there was still some more. Was still so, some but do you think the total that. was still three hours? It could have been a little bit longer for you guys. Because I think, I think when you were done and you left, we were still shooting, I think. I still, like, have you seen the clip yet? No, I've seen, camera one. Some days, that telekinetic thing is gonna get there. Um, Mr. LaCorey, I've not seen a clip from Stop Dead. Neither has Heather, so. I did. You saw a clip? I had to get my footage. You got your footage. I did. I heard you talking in one of the segments about Turn the stalking. camera off a minute. <laughs> Oh, you heard the segment about stalking, and you stalked Jason. And, oh, all right, I'll give you the footage. Shut up. It's like, wow, this is all it takes for you to shut up, Heather. All right, it yeah, works. I'm going to try that. <laughs> but so the one scene, I loved it because it shot out there, and you could see the RV. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. It was great cinematography. I loved it. I was like, what the fuck? That's really cool. Yeah. So, so what? yeah, please. Please inform me. I would like to know what you've seen in this movie. Jason's I going, seen. I told her not to say anything. No, not to release it. Ah. <laughs> different. So we can't show a clip here? No. No. Oh, gosh. He, he kill would me. kill us. Yes, dead. Deader than a doornail. Yes, he'd release Valkyrie on us. The dog with the razor sharp teeth. <laughs> yeah. Savaged. I just plugged your movie Savage, LaCorey, and Stop Dead. Two movies, one show. It's kind of like two hot dogs for one. It's kind of like two Death Stars for the price of one. It's kind of like 
Okay, we won't get into that. So how can I see Brain Jet? I know Brain we're not Jack. talking about that right Did now because I miss, I miss the. You my, can. Oh, my will that embarrass you so if I say bad. what happened? No. I told my wife. She laughed. No, she didn't. She would never laugh. I laughed in the parking I, lot when it was all black. I was like. <laughs> I said, Heather, on Saturday night, Saturday morning. That Brain Jack, come out and see Brain Jack. And my wife and I went out Friday night and Saturday. Friday night was just, no, she didn't get to go Friday. Yes, she did. They said she could come because they didn't have as many people as they thought. Friday night was for cast and crew. And then Saturday night was open to the public. So I wrote you Saturday morning. But when you looked at it, it was Sunday morning. And you thought, therefore, thinking it was Sunday night. Correct. And somebody went to the theater and sat in an empty parking lot and went, Where's Joe? Where's the Brain Jack come here? He said he was going to be here. I was looking for the hidden cameras. <laughs> you were punked. I was punked. Yeah. But, you know, then Sorry, I pulled Ashton. up my iPhone and we'll put there. And then you found out. And then I found out. Yeah. So how can I see it? I don't know. Oh, well. You want to see Batman Forever instead? It's just as good. <laughs> <laughs> Brain Jack was awesome. Um, it was very, very cool. Everybody did an awesome job in that. It was, um, I think it's, that played Tristan, I think his name. I think that's Chris Jackson, and Somali Rose was, Somali Rose was, anybody? Survey says. Survey says. I can't remember, but it was great. Chris DeGrotti was in it as Heaven. Um, Michael Kenneth Farr was in it. He was funny. He was like this crazy uh Mental escapee Is that was just that went screamed, nuts. Like, yeah. Doing the thing, but he, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you saw the premiere. I did. I didn't get on to see, Coop TV. I didn't get to see the film. I know. But now, it looks it's, so exciting. It is going to be cool. It's like I told Andy. I go, man, are you keeping that because the poster is awesome. Mm -hmm. Poster yeah. looks like this. I really, I just like doing that. I like. He just likes throwing things at you. I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying to do. I want to get that right in front of the lens. Oh, that was a good one. Man, I shot right over that. That's kind of like in an episode of Johnny Quest. Boom, and they skip off the water. That ruled. Anyway, he said it's up to the distributor if the cool box cover is going to be it, and the box cover rules. It's very awesome looking. Can you throw up a Can you throw up a poster, Brain Jack? You have that Andy Lolino clip, the picture of Andy Lolino and Andrew Allen. Throw that. Can you throw that up right here? We'll wait a second. Wow, that was awesome. See, wasn't that a cool poster? That's cool. Yeah, like just, pre it. just pretend this is it. <laughs> Here, have that. It doesn't yeah, cost like anything. It's free. When things are free, take them. I know, right? Okay. Like a handful. But it, it is, it, it is going to be cool. And they have to go through a distributor yet to, um, you know, to, uh, well, to find out who's going who's gonna to be the one distributing it. But I did hear that Brain Jack is going to play along with Filthy... In about um, two months, about two weeks, my producer says two weeks. So be on the lookout for that because okay. Brain Jacked. Brain Jack was very cool. Andrew Allen and Andy Lalino, nice job, guys. It was Woo! very, very cool. Yes, Brain Jack was awesome. We really enjoyed it a lot. It was cool. So wait, because I'll do that whole Facebook thing. And the Twitter and the MySpace thing, and I'm not Woo! talking about. I ate a cheese sandwich. I had to go potty. I let the cat out. Sitting not on that. the couch. Have you seen that one? I'm sitting on the patio. So, but soon, soon, watch all that cool update stuff because when he sends it out, and everybody's on that. Okay. And it will be there now for the future because my producer gave me the the sign where he shoots arrows at me. What's up for Heather in the future? What's up for me in the future? Well, I'm working on something called My Future Baby Daddy. My future baby daddy. I know. That sounds like an episode of Springer. It could be. That is my baby's daddy. You never know. <laughs> you know, are you it? Are you it? You know? <laughs> Anyways, um, Kara D, she is a producer over at UPN, and it's all about her trying to find her future baby daddy. I guess she was on the TBT magazine, came up looking for a booty call, oh. but she really wasn't looking for a booty call. She was looking for my future baby daddy. So I played one of her friends, one of her best friends in it, oh. and we are trying to find her a suitable mate. Oh, very cool. Yeah, and the other thing is all that glitters. And all that glitters. That sounds. That sounds very familiar. I'm trying to think of the chick that was in. I know. Yeah. Uh, it's really Mariah, like Mariah Carey. Carey. That's what I'm thinking. But it's not that one. But it's not that one. What? This one's gonna be better. What? 
girl. This one's gonna be better. What? She didn't get good reviews for that. <laughs> it's just the I'm not one to talk sparkly though. glitter. No, that sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah. So it's about a um, gay boxer that marries somebody to cover up what his sexuality is. Mm -hmm. And it kind of ends in a little bit of a tragedy, but people find themselves. And it's good. So I play an attorney in that. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never played an attorney. Never? I've played a doctor, psycho. Never played a, an attorney. I could see you uh, yeah. attorney. I would have not. You could see me as an attorney? I could. Like in a suit and tie and stuff? All right, strike that last blah, blah, judge. Yeah, that's from Bloodlust. Hey, that's that's from Scary Tales. But that's a suit and tie. The guy shoots me in the head. Yeah. Yeah, I totally You know what? Mm -hmm. That's all the time we got. That's it. But do you, you want it? Well, do you want to do you want to stay around for the Wine Coop Thirty Second DVD review? Oh, I would like that. Because it's awesome. Very much. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Hey, everybody! We'll be right back with the Thirty Second DVD review. I had to go into my own personal collection because no filmmakers sent me anything. Not Phil. Not Ryan. Not Cameron. Not. I'm running out of names. But uh, I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. Go go to YouTube and see and punch in. Something for the TFR, and then you'll get that joke. I got nothing. All right, we'll be right back on the Joel Winecoop Show. Celebrate. They had all these celebrate. They had all these celebrate. They had all these famous people say happy birthday to you. So I wanted to say happy birthday too. Cause you're my buddy, buddy. I'm gonna sing you a song. That's a real good song. Here goes. Ready? Oh, I forgot to sing it. Hang on. Here we go. Let's go one more second. I forgot the words. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Incredible Hulk. He told me how to sing it. Here we go. Oh, thanks. Oh, there's more. Happy birthday to you, buddy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Happy birthday. I gotta go now. Alright, Heather, we're back with the Wine Coop 30 Second DVD review of Twisted Illusions 2. Now, I had my wife on the show a while back. This is for everybody that can't see past cameraman. <laughs> see, I'll make, like those, I'll make like those guys on the street. They're, they're advertising something on the street and they do this. How in the hell can you see what they're advertising? Stop moving that sign around! Oh my gosh! Twisted Illusions too. Look at look at that. Oh, that's the blank one. You know my you know what my partner says. Tim goes. That's very good that you have that because that's the uh, first uh, first one to come off without. Just get me the one with the picture on it, Ritter. Anyway, Twisted Illusions too. It's got three stories in it. One is by Tim Ritter, my partner, who did Creep and all our movies, Wicked Games, Truth of Dare, all those. And um, then there's John Bowker did another one. And um, then there's, of course, the one um, my wife and I did called The Part. The Part's pretty neat. It's about a guy that is let out of a mental institution, 
They completely cured him of being a psychopath, a, a killer. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna give the story away. And they completely cure, um, cure him of being a killer. He goes out and he walks into a casting for a horror movie, and the director goes, "I want you to go out and pretend you're Tim, the psychopathic killer." And he goes out scaring people, and he turns back into the killer. It's pretty awesome, man. And he keeps saying things like, "I'm just practicing for the part." And then, um, I, you know what? I can't remember. I can't remember the other two. Tim will kill me. Tim, I'm so sorry, man. I can't remember the name. Dexter Deadbeat. Dexter Deadbeat, all you Deadbeat Dexters. Tapes, tapes. You know, I'm doing that, and you're going, that's pretty whack. But if you saw this, you'd be walking around going, tapes, tapes. And then Bowker's, John Bowker, man, I am so sorry. I can't remember. I know it's the Raising of the Dead. Woo! And it's, yes, it's very awesome. It's a zombie type thing. And I, that's it for Twisted Illusions 2. Just, it's, it's awesome. It's very, very cool. Very, very cool. It's like, I have to mention my good friend. I just got this in the mail today. What a guy. He's a cool guy. My good friend. My good buddy. David the Rock Nelson. Rock has been doing movies. See, if you zoom in on this, you'll see he's got a little thing. It says, to Joel D. Winecoop from your friend, David the Rock Nelson, the Rock Monster. Rock intro to Joel, flexing again, oh my, David is all about flexing his muscles, he works out a lot, he's a boxer, and um, my hat's off to him because he also served in the United States Army. Uh, so let's give one up for David the Rock. <laughs> and um, he sent this to me because I got him in Fall of an Actor, which is my latest movie, I had to put him in for one of the interviews, and he goes, Joel, did I send you the, the werewolf and the witch? And I said, no. And um, that's what this is. So check out my friend David the Rock Nelson. He's got two documentaries coming out. Uh, the Rock and Can't Stop the Rock and another rockumentary. And check him out. You can see him online. Just a search engine. His name, David the Rock Nelson. That is all the time we have for here on the Joel Weinkoop Show. We put a little extra punch in there. Heather, thanks for coming along, my dear. Until Stop Dead 2, we will reprise our roles again. Me and her are going to do like a Batman and Robin movie. Oh, I'm sorry, Batgirl. You'll be Batgirl. Batgirl? Because I ain't being Batgirl. Yeah. Yeah, you get an awesome outfit. All All right, we're out of here. We'll see you next time on the Joel Weinkoop Show. Let those credits roll. No. Any specific color? Red. I love red. Ooh, that's my favorite as well. It's just dripping with flavor.